Well, I've just looked at the listings for the over the board competition in two weeks time. And we are definitely now just the bottom of the ratings. The person who was zero rated who was in that section, they're no longer there in that section. So I am completely the lowest rated player in the tournament. Oh, okay, that was a quick game. Interesting times. So yes, I'm officially the um, lowest rated player in the tournament. So all my training now is really focused on underdog training. I know I was the second lowest before, so I was thinking, well, not too underdog, but now I am the underdog. So obviously I'm going to be playing the top player first. I think that that's how they do it. Just to, I don't know, it's like, um, it's the way the computer systems work, isn't it? Bottom player plays the, plays the top player for the first game at least, and then it evens itself out throughout the tournament. So yeah, we're expecting really strong games going through, but being the underdog means there's no expectations on me. I do have my predictions, which are uh, either one win and three losses, or two draws and two losses, something along them lines. That That is my highest prediction for myself. If we perform higher than that, then that's a... You know that's a blessing that's over performing but we do have our target we're not realistically playing over the board against these strong players that i've watched for many years in the major section because i've played in the minor section for many years and as you know i'm a casual player so i'm not playing all the time over the board at all um i just like watching players play and i just like the idea of chess in itself I do like playing online as well, but not so much. I prefer playing over the board. It's just I don't have that much time to actually play it over the board, which is a shame, but um, maybe in a few months' time, maybe that might change a little bit as we're going forward, but we shall see for the next season. And so, well, that was a very quick game, so I'm not too sure if I'm jumping in now again, but I suppose I'll jump in and play another eight-minute game. So that's the scores on the board. So two weeks to go and we are definitely the underdog. So it's just a matter of getting the practice in. And like we said, the players playing online are not really a what a gauge to say, well, yeah, these are how the over the ball players play because I would say the over the ball players play a little bit stronger. But then on the other side of the coin, you do have the areas where they do play weaker. It's that balance. You know, you never know who you're going to be playing over the board. Just like you don't know who you're going to be playing when you're playing online. Yeah, let's resign that one. Um, let's get this here. Let's focus on the game. So it's an eight minute zero increment game. <laughs> Gonna go straight there, the Queen's there. What else can we do here? Let's just bring the queen back, supporting the bishop. Shall we castle? And they're repositioning for what? That's the question. Is it looking to come across here? Is looking for this situation? Can we stop that from happening before anything kicks off? So we know it's happening. What can we do about it? What can be done? Night, 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 night. Can't bring the knight there. Get the bishop out. But is it protecting that area that he's wanting to attack, which is this? I'm going to just move the king because the upshot of all that process is the bishop coming here and etc. etc. So let's just move the king. Right, so the knights move swiftly, like he expected that to happen. So I think the knight is coming here. Where is it going next? Maybe to here. Then maybe looking to support. So he's doing a replacement of the bishop attack thing. So if we know this, what can be done about it? The next move is going to be here. Again, bringing this bishop out just feels like it's not doing anything to prevent the knight coming over to here, over to here. 
So there needs to be more things being done towards that area. That's that's what we know they're going to do. Can we not get them over? It's just, it just seems like a physical impossibility now, doesn't it? We know it's coming. We have nothing to stop it apart from pawns, but that's really opening up the king. So we could push the pawn. Physically, we can push the pawn. Or we can bring the knight down. It's okay. We bring the knight down. He brings his knight across. And then we've got the queen that can come into the space, maybe. Try and get some pieces in there. Let's move the knight down. We're trying to circle. Yeah, exactly. We know where you're going. Yeah, so we're trying to our best to stop this thing from happening. It's probably coming to attack the queen. So sitting here, he's probably still going to carry on going there anyway. But we said we we're going to bring the queen across, but then can't go here. Can go there. Queen can attack. Let's bring the queen like we said, give the king a bit of company. Could end up being a smothered mate. We have to be careful. No spaces around the king. But we're trying our best to get pieces towards our kingside area to block off these attacks. And it looks like we have done that psychologically. Because now they've not got their bishop out, not got this knight moving. But we haven't got these pieces developed. But we want to make moves that mean something. So we could push the pawn here if the knight takes. He's supporting with the bishop as well though. So maybe it's time to bring the knight out, giving the king some space. This way, attacking the pawn. Do we want space for the white square bishop coming back in? Get the white square bishop here. Here. I can just feel these pawns pushing down and my queen getting trapped. I'm going to bring the bishop back into the game because it doesn't feel like it's doing anything there. Yeah, and they're dancing with theirs. So they're going to be going to attack their bishop. We do, don't want this bishop in this area. Oh, yeah. Dancing with the knight. It looks like he's coming for a pawn here. Does it still give us this? Doesn't give us this because he's got three pieces protecting. He's mm -hmm. dancing confidently really want to push this takes takes it's got too many pieces on there so if we push this pawn onto the knight see what it wants to do i know i've got these still on the back but they have to mean something the moves have to mean something at the minute there's no place for them they don't have a duty or a role at this moment in time they'll just be slowing down any potential i want to just keep blocking them off Oh, gee, I didn't see that, did I? Yeah, why didn't I see that so eager on just pushing? But he's got like a two-on-one. He's got a two-on-one and we still probably can't push here because he's got like a three-on-one. Pawn takes, bishop takes. Oh, that was a waste. That was a waste. Let's bring the knight up. Circumvent, let's take. We're still circumventing the king's side attack. Obviously, he's going to be trying to get here, but he doesn't have any support until the bishop comes here. So bring the bishop back. Still trying to fight to get this, but he's got three pieces on there. Chomping at the bit for it. I've got three pieces defending, but I just need an extra one. I don't think the knight can help. Maybe the knight can go up and down. He's moved the knight, so he's not got three pieces there now, but he's coming for the knight, the rook, sorry. If we do this, he takes the bishop off the board. Takes the knight off the board, sorry. With the bishop. Take the bishop. He's not going to care, he's just going to go for the rook. Oh, he's not done that. Interesting times. Boom, 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 boom. So we could bring the queen here. Now he's got the check on the king. 
doesn't have any support at the minute so it's just a single check <laughs> where's gone it's not actually still looking for the king isn't he somehow so what's my queen got some magic attacking their pawn up here attacking the knight it's gone for it let's take i'm gonna save the pawn by pushing king's a bit airy so he does push so let's maybe get this knight up could attack the bishop or could come across here just to give the king some company they're still plus one and the bishops move so it doesn't want to get attacked okay i think it went there just to stop the queen from coming here personally so what are the rooks doing rooks like to own the files could get the knight across I'm gonna bring the knight across see if we can give the king some company it's important let's see if we can own a file with the rooks Okay, looks like we can. So I'm going to bring the rook up. This pawn looks like it's the bane of their game because it's just blocking the dark square bishop, it's blocking the queen. Oh no, a trap. It's trapped me. It's trapped my rook. Oh, harsh time. So if we move here, he then moves his rook. But then we can take the bishop off the board and then he takes... Oh, we've lost the rooks. Oh, harsh times. Damn, we've lost the rooks. He comes there. We take. We're on his queen. He takes. But we take the queen, I suppose. But What did I see? I saw something where we lost the rooks. He goes there. We go here, he takes the rook, we take the queen. No, okay, that's not gonna happen. Does he move his queen somewhere? No, it's not. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. So the bishop moves. Bishop moves. We can put a two on one here. I'm conscious of my king being airy. Knight's doing a nice job at the minute. We're putting a two on one here on this pawn. Which is going to give them the excuse to come here when if the rook does take. So the queen's gone onto a white square. I'm not going to deliberate over that. Maybe they're coming for a pawn with the queen. Does take, let's take, takes the pawn. Do we ignore all of that and go here? It's just that the bishop is protecting this pawn. Is there any point? Is there any point in shooting up there? Just to attack this, he goes like that. We're not going to take this. Oh my gosh, we're on um, low time. Low time. So just to take first then, take the rook. It's just a massive take fest and they'll be just pushing this and pushing this. Can we squeeze here? Can we squeeze there? Comes down for a check on the king, move the king. Is there a repet? Prob nope, can't see it. 48 seconds, so let's stop jibber jabbering. Oh come on, give me a break. Let's take. Comes found for the pawn. Oh, he's got a repet then, hasn't he? Ooh. But then we can take, take, I suppose. Right, check. Yeah, move. 41 seconds. Quick, quick. Where's he going? Oh, he does have a check. Damn. Let's go here. Takes the pawn. Yeah, it's got a repet. It's got a draw. Ah, don't you hate them repets? 
He put lo lovely work in. He might even get a checkmate, you know, with some. Oh, that's too late, dude. That's got to be too late, hasn't it? Ouch, yeah, they resigned. Ugly game. Well, we've got lots of material on the board. Maybe at some point we were going to be winning. Uh, quick look at the analysis. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Ooh, ouch. Let's see. Yes, okay. It wasn't anything major with the queen thing. No finish yet. No finish. Still plus fives. I mean, they can still come back from plus sixes and sevens. And even plus eights even as well. Yeah, okay. Nice game. Okay, trading game uh, for the OTB tournament in two weeks' time. Let's just capture the pawn. Let's attack the queen. Is it going to be a queen exchange? take with the bishop so yeah being the lowest rated player in the tournament uh can be quite daunting but for me I'm, i don't have any fear because at the end of the day i don't really have much to lose in that sense doing this pawn maneuver is a little bit lame because it's jamming in my own bishop but let's do that anyway and develop the knight just keep it simple it's nothing no need to try and be too arty with anything. Shall we castle? King safety. And we could bring the bishop supporting or we can move the knight. Could move the knight and the pawn is not going to be isolated so it should be okay. I'm going to move the knight. I'm really trying to avoid this bishop having to support this pawn throughout the rest of the game. Thank you. Okay, we'll take that. And let's push on to the bishop now. And we could do what we like doing, but I'm going to avoid doing it. Just going to bring the bishop here, which is baiting the pawn down. And I don't mind hiding my bishop behind this pawn structure. Because the fight, I think, for the end game, that might be quite crucial, having our bishop on the other side of the fence. So it can rest there, just take its time. Doesn't need to get involved in any argy-bargy. I'm hoping we'll get to see what I'm talking about later on in the game, if it gets that far. Castled. And then ownership of the file is crucial, so... Choose this rook to actually own this file, maybe. Just for a brief moment. Maybe try to get them doubled up. Basic chess. Don't want to overdo the calculations. As we said, we're hoping that this structure here helps us in the end game as we're building up towards the the full end game you could you could class it that the fact that the queens are off the board that you're now in your end game type process so fair enough let's say we're in end game now how do they make these pawns work that's my question how do they make them work in terms of forcing down because they've got equal pawns on this side got equal pawns on that side somebody's going to need to break somewhere And all we're kind of really interested in is if we can get our rooks on in this file, potential for getting the knight across here also, as well as dubbing the rooks if we wanted to do that, and pushing onto this pawn to open up space to make this a powerful bishop. But they may look to try and do some sort of fancy exchanges with the bishop because we do have two dark square bishops. So they've castled eventually, so they took a while over that, leaving a little bit of a space for a check on their king. 
gives the bishop a little bit of breathing space to be a bit of an annoyance here but it's not going to stay there too long because it'll get challenged but it does give us a chance to bring the rook like we said to try and own the files maybe depending on what they do again we do have sights of this so maybe the rook's moving up to here and moving this rook here leaving a bit of space for the knight if we're looking to do this okay so the knight's moved up i have to be mindful of any trappy type positions so if we do go there the bishop can actually just go here and lock the rook in a bit like um one of the games that's happened recently so we go there bishop goes ha you're trapped and you can't even take the pawn and you can't even take the knight because this knight is protecting so that's probably why we're plumped for just bringing it here and trying to bring it here and then obviously if we get the chance to start attacking here that's the idea let's shall we go with that yes not forgetting the bishop may get challenged so we can bring it back and back so we have two bits of strategy this and this type thing it's not saying it's uh, gonna win anything but it's an idea It might be that they just simply say, well, we're just going to exchange these rooks off. So we'll just bring our rook here and hopefully try and maintain ownership of the file. When you've got the knights and the bishops like this, you don't really feel that like you're really truly owning the file because they can just block you off. You know, because that could just shut the door now and just say, that's it. But then we do have a little plan, don't we, of bringing the knight here and pushing onto here if the door is shut. Okay, looks like they're not interested in that. So we're going to bring the rook across and just follow the basic chess thing. Obviously, keep going there, but we know it's going to shut the door. So we're not going to do that until the bishop is dealt with somehow. We're going to be hitting the bishop now. So do we want the bishop sitting here, being a bit of an annoyance? We said this earlier that it might be a nice position it's just if the rook comes here where does it go it can come here which i suppose isn't too bad don't really want to be bringing it here he's going to be locking the bishop in could attack the knight knight takes i don't think they'll take though options and choices because they've not attacked it yet and if we did do this that might be a bit too early. They push. We move. They push themselves because they've got so many pieces on there. Yeah, so that's a, the query as well, isn't it? I mean, they could just push onto the pawn. Because we're looking to push here. If they do take, the knight can take. And then the pawns here, knights there, bishop takes. Interesting time. So we did say that that might potentially be our stronghold. So if we go for this, go for this. They push. Oh, we can't push. Well, hey, good job we're talking this through because the bishop's got the x-ray through. So we can't push. So we either bring the king here or stick it right in the corner. Ooh, that's slowing us down a bit, isn't it? So we could hit the bishop. And then they could hit our bishop. We were sending the bishop to, to the locked in position. Ooh, do we really want that when the rooks are all fired up? Hmm, interesting times. Right, time's running out. Hit the bishop. Bishop goes to, that's the only place it can move. Well, it actually, it can go backwards as well, side to side. I think it'll lock down. So if it does lock down, get the knight across. But then it gives them the free thing on that pawn, which then we won't be winning that. Ooh. Simple attack the knight. 
Pepping the rook. We take the knight. Knight takes. Rook takes. Rook takes. Rook takes. Rook takes. King to the rear. That's a simple way, isn't it? Just bringing the simple bishop attacking the, the knight. I'm going to go with that. Simple potatoes. And even if they don't take, we just take it off the board. It still does have the bishop locking in process, but keep it dirt simple. All that calculation, wow. But it's nice to see because if those positions do occur, then I've got some sort of idea as to what potentially I, I can do. So they've actually taken, taken with the rook. Simple chess. So I'm trying to maintain the strength of the rooks, as you can see. Obviously, like we said, it can be locked down. Then we'd have to change the position and everything, which is again, probably focusing on the knight and this pawn attacking this pawn that we mentioned right at the very beginning of the game. It is so tempting to just push this pawn onto the bishop. But like I say, it does give them one, two, three pieces protecting. So if we did come here and did do that, we've only got one, two, three attacking, which is the rook. So I think they'll probably go for an exchange. I think they'll just go, okay, let's just get these out of the way. Their bishop's trapped behind this pawn, the knight's behind this pawn, so maybe they can do something. That's what I think they'll do. Oh, they've not done that. They're supporting the bishop, which means to me, if we do attack it, it's definitely not going back here. So it's just going to go and lock here. Right, what's the benefits? Because this knight doesn't have any protection on it. So we push there, the bishop moves, then we push onto the knight. The knight decides to move, but he attacks the rook. And then this pawn will be taken, won't it? Ooh, too clever for me, too clever for me. What we got, what do we have? We need to have something. I like this and this. But he can just drop a pawn to stop it. Could just drop that, but we can take and we'll be on the rook and the thing, rook and the king. So we're looking to sink the knight in here, getting a bit active. If he does that in here, he starts pushing. Let's bring the knight in. But before we do that, we're bringing it in. It's obviously then going to get attacked. And where are we taking it to? Because the knight and the bishop are covering that area. Could come around here, but then it's just doubling the pawns. So are we realistically going there? Hmm. Good question. Go there. Gets hit. I'm on one minute. So I think we're not going to go there. I think we're going to just hit this pawn. And then his pawn drops up. Oh, we can't do that just yet. Let's move the king. Let's move the king. I think they'll just hit us anyway. And we can just jump here and just sit there like a bad penny until the knight decides to want to take us off because it's probably like saying we've got a fork here. Oh, it's hitting us already. So we can hit and get the pawn if it's going to work that way or are they going to trap us. So they move their dead quick. Let's bring the rook, attacking, attacking the pawn. Time's running out now, so hopefully hopefully they're not a bullet spe specialist or a blitz specialist. So we're getting towards the end of the end game. And we're trying to see if what we said at the beginning with hiding the bishop here if that's going to work for us as a benefit. It's the, like the patient game. So the rook can't take the knight anyway, but it's looking for the pawn. So, oh my gosh. So we're going to get trapped, aren't we? Go here. 
Oh, he's going to go for an exchange with the rooks. Okay, so let's hit the pawn. It's going to go for an exchange, I think, with one of the rooks. The knight is unprotected at the moment. But there's a back rank threat situation. Our king is jammed in the corner. We did that ourselves. The knight has moved, tempting us to actually attack it, tempting us to bring the rook up here. But we can't count it because the bishop is there. So now, the pawn that we said shh, we think might give us a bit of an advantage in the game, we're going to start attacking. The king has moved. If it doesn't take, we can take. They'll be looking that the rook is coming down. Well, it's got the bishop and the rook here. So they might try and work something there. Okay, so they're not interested in that. So we are going to take, like we said. And if they take, we can take back with the bishop. The rook knight has got no protection on. So we could have taken the knight because the bishop's moved. So we'll take the knight. And the focal point is on the key pawn that we said right at the very beginning of the game. Going to bring the knight here, it's attacking this pawn with the rook as well. Bishop's attacking our rook, so we will take that off the board. And they've lost on time. So all in all, that felt really quite smooth. Um, yeah, I, let's have a look at the analysis on that just to see. Just to make sure. Right, okay. Let's go about here. Yeah, so it's like... Would expect to see it be a bit drawish type thing there. Capture in. So it's slowly showing a little bit of advantage for us. Doesn't like the pawn attack, but I like it. And do, 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 do. it's saying attack the bishop. Attack the bishop. Because the bishop has nowhere to go and it would have get taken. You know, the smallest of details, isn't it? Yeah. Because it can't go anywhere. It have us to take the pawn. Yeah, can't go there, can't go there, it gets taken. Smallest of details, I was not focused on that at all. I was focused on relaying the story of we we're going to be taking advantage of this pawn at some stage during the game. And we felt that this was the moment. Yeah, so the knight, Rook could have taken the knight, but the book's not too much wrong with what we did at all, really. Yeah, that's fine. Just drop a bit there. What's it saying? Uh, rook taking the e5. So rook taking the pawn. No, I'm not interested in that. That's fine. Takes, takes. And we're happy as Larry. Yeah, brilliant game. Oops, mouse slip. It's a bit e4. Means I'm going to play something different. Lost tempo already. So, what is this weird concoction we've got going on? Hmm. Backward game. Don't you hate backward games? Being forced back by a little measly pawn. But I think you find that, well, the ones, when I've watched major, major players play, you know, this is the type of play they play with the pawns pushing down. 
sort of squishing the kings and the queens and the pieces with little pawn pushes down so i'm quite liking this i made an error in my opening so we're in this position um not really too familiar with it but just going to hit the head of the snake like we say in our mantra the head of the snake usually falls or the back of the snake usually falls so long as you've got pieces supporting i'm taking this i'm not really messing about with that because obviously we've got taking the knight off the board keeping it simple So attacking the head of the snake or the back of the snake just doesn't mean yet yeah, whipping it off the board. It means trying to find a half decent position as well. Now they're doing the answer process, trying to squish the king as best possible. It is a white square bishop that they've got. And do we want to take the knight off the board? Yes, I do. Disrupt their pawn structure, doubling the pawns. And then I'm going to attack the queen just to see what it wants to do. So we're playing backward at the minute, we're playing defence, the opponent's getting all aggressive, so we're, we're just basically defending and just trying to improve our position, ready for the end game. So the Queen's dancing around, looking to get this pawn, if they forget themselves, the Knight is there protecting. If they're not wanting to exchange, then they're dancing around. We are on their pawn over on the back. He's dancing around, so we'll take the pawn on the back. Bishop's attacking the rook, so just move the rook gently up a little bit. And move the queen out of the way, attacking the queen again when the rook attacks. Doubles our pawns this time. Yep, so let's just attack the queen. I think they'll take this time because it's doubling the pawns. Even if because we've got plus one at the minute, but doubling the pawns, you might as well class it as just having one pawn until it gets evened out. You would have thought they would have taken there, but uh, are they looking at something extra? Just getting the bishop in the middle. Let's take. Shall we get the knight up? And maybe just even these pawns out, basic supporting, I suppose. Okay, so let's push this pawn and push onto the bishop. Bishop looks like it almost is trapped, but it's not quite. So we're going to push onto the bishop. They will attack the knight. Get the rook across. Yep. We don't even have to move the rook because at the end of the day, we can move the knight to a more profitable position. Although, is it a profitable position? We go here, pawn takes, pawn takes, rook comes across, rook comes to defend. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. So we've got rid of the double pawn situation anyway, with plus one. They do have a bishop that looks like it's embedded in there forever. Let's take. Then we said bring the rook here, but then they're looking to bring the bishop here. And if they do that, we can take that off the board. So what magic has the knight got? No check on the king. Attack the rook, but no fork. So the rook is down. Potential idea of this, but it's not going to be taking this pawn just yet. What's it doing there? Can't do any of this. I don't have anything to hit the bishop. I think I need to continue with the pawn rook maneuver here. Seeing as they've not attacked, so maybe just looking to push and push. Obviously, it's not going to get past that, so maybe there that might be too much because they've got too many pieces on there. Get the rook into the center. So they're not playing ball at the minute. So we go attack, pawn takes, pawn takes. Bishop's not going to take. So we start pushing. We push, pawn takes, pawn takes. Bishop 
doesn't take the rook comes across by that time we push here yeah okay let's try that let's try it i think at some point the bishop will will be coming here so we don't want to block it too much and let's push so this comes up putting a two on one we go there then the bishop comes behind the pawn so there's a lot oh we said that didn't we so let's just bring the rook here attacking oh what did you stupid idiot i said this rook was going to be taking that oh that's so stupid let's go and get a rook so stupid that's moving too fast i said if the bishop comes here which i did expect them to the rook would take the bishop off the board oh that's annoying okay let's take a rook off the board let's take the one that's not on the pawn let's push the pawn rook comes back to defend push the pawn bishop comes back here stopping this yep and we could look to take the bishop off the board or take this pawn or this pawn takes push the pawn and push this pawn that's so stupid that was moving too fast narration mode got me let's push the pawn It looks like it's not turned out too bad for us anyway but still little things like that a bit annoying hoping i don't do that in the long play games you know thinking oh yeah quick move but i think i'm a little bit more calmer in the longer play games obviously if i'm down on time i might have to move a bit fast but uh, ooh. let's go for the queen with a check on the king push the pawn supporting the rook bishop comes here just to defend get the queen let's take and at this point they should kind of resign although oh, no, they're looking for some sort of um stalemate offers a draw okay i'll take the draw and let's um go here nice one seven minute game i remember when seven minute games on here used to be classed as rapid and it suddenly changed it to, well maybe not suddenly but it's now listed as blitz i'm gonna bring the bishop through attacking the knight i can't make the minds up what the time skills are can they really let's just attack this knight see how simple we can get the game let's hit the pawn in the center only based of what the opponent does at each game is different as we know and smaller piece attack and higher piece can't be wrong and just take this pawn off the board rook's got no protection on it so if we swing the queen here maybe we can get it for free attacking the bishop at the same time So that happened quickly he could still take he's got a check on the king we take but he's still got these pieces under attack he's gone for a check either way somehow queen could take the knight off the board see what i was thinking before they did the move i'm thinking well they could just move there and we get the lesser piece and I'm, now i'm thinking if i move the king what else does he have he's getting a bishop for free we get his rook with a check I'm going to move the king we're still hunting a higher piece oh no he's got a check on but the rook can take 
So it's just like scratching into the tunnel, like into darkness, just scratching anywhere to see if they can see some light. So the advantage was still going to be there. We probably didn't play that the best, but. All right, so the queen can still squeeze in here, attacking the pawn, being a nuisance in this position. Pawn pushes down. Our king is airy, don't forget. It's not um, going to move the queen again, overworking the queen. I'm going to take the pawn because the bishop's on us. Do have momentary checks, but we may as well take the queen off the board, seeing as we're a minor piece up. And let's get the minor piece out, link up the rooks a little bit. Let's get the knight dancing a, little, a bit. And let's dance the knight again, I suppose, putting a check on the king. I'm so close, I thought we had a fork then. So we could save that because the pawn is protecting at the moment. Let's just bring the rook here. Could bring the king in the castling position. Attacking the pawn, so uh, if we take, then obviously let's just bring the king to the castling position and shall we put the check on the king now? Put the check on the king now. Come back around. He comes and supports with the pawn. Doesn't support with the pawn. So we were going to jump here anyway. But he's supporting with the bishop. So we can attack the bishop. He just slides back somewhere. Yeah. Is it head of the snake time? Takes, 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 takes. Yep, head of the snake. Well, it's not even a snake. It's just, um, let's hit and hit. And hit. Let's take. We can afford to reduce down, so there's no issues there. Let's keep on taking. What is this? Let's move the king. <clears throat> take with the knight let's take and resign excellent nice game